Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want. And today I don't want to refilm the intro even though I was itching my face during it. No, today I want to test products that people that own animals should use to clean their- What am I saying? How is- what's the title? I'm gonna test products for animal parents to clean with- What? How am I gonna phrase this? I bought things that you clean with if you own animals. Okay. That was difficult to say. So I went on Amazon. I will put a link below to my Amazon. It's kind of like a playlist thing where it shows all the things I test and if you want to buy them the link is handy dandy there it'll be in the link below but we're gonna test all these things today I got a lot and by lot I mean five I've got five so ready let's begin okay so first up it's gonna be this this is a broom that you do this with it says it picks up dog hair really well dry or wet the floor can be dry or wet and it cleans up everything I don't really know I'm gonna have to look at the instructions on how this works I don't know if I trust it when things are like it can get dog hair really well I know you know what gets dog hair really well a Swiffer but blaze barely sheds and his hair is so short and whatever that you don't notice when he does shed so he's not an issue it's Snoop that dog sheds. Okay, so I just watched the little demo on Amazon and apparently you take this and you just wipe towards you it seems and it gets all the debris and fur. Now down here is very dirty so I thought we'd start there and then we're moving on to the rug because apparently it works on carpet. First we're going to extend, fantastic, and we're going to why? Oh wait, that worked. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is working. Holy poopsicles. <gasps> oh. Do you see my pile? Guys, look at my pile. I love how I have just a Roomba over there that I could be using, but look at my pile. Let's see how much this cleans. We're gonna go clean everything. Look at that pile of fur, dirt, hair. That is my office, not the carpet. We haven't hit the carpet yet. Just the small little hardwood on it and half of my living room. I didn't even do the full living room because I was like, I was getting distracted and I was like, oh, I need to film, not clean my whole house right now. Okay, pros and cons. One, pro, it works. Con, the Swiffer is definitely easier to use, but with the Swiffer, I have to like empty it out or change it halfway through my cleaning because there's so much dirt and fur and hair everywhere. But this, you don't have to. I will say con, this takes longer just because you kind of have to keep going over it and keeping the pile together with the Swiffer. It does stick to the Swiffer. Also better than a broom because a broom kicks up dust. This very much keeps everything on the ground. It doesn't create a dust ball, which I really like. So I'm going to say this product is great on the floors I have. I'm going to pick up this pile and then we're going to see how this works on a rug. And then it says it can be used in your dog's crate, which is full of Snoop hair. And no matter how much I shake it outside, it, the hair doesn't come off. So we'll see if it works in that. All right. So we're going to sweep the rug and see what comes off. I already hate this noise. Oh, you know what? No, I still hate it. I hate the noise. And yeah, no, that that didn't that didn't do anything. Now it's getting some stuff off, but just as much as if you were to like take anything to it. Okay, no, I can't handle the feeling. I don't like things grabbing onto fabric. So I just took this outside and shook it. But I don't know if the camera can really see it. There's still white dog hair all over it. So I'm gonna try and use the thingy. that? That clump of hair I created? I didn't create it. You created it. I just put it all into a ball right here. That actually worked pretty well. Snoop, we have a way to clean your little pad for your crate. I just put, took the fur off. Can you not for like a second? I'm gonna say I love this and this product's a win. So heck yes. So far, video. 100% amazing. Now, in case you don't want to sweep or do uh, any hair removal, you can just put this on your dog. This is the next product. It's a shed defender. Basically, you're putting a giant onesie on your dog so their hair can't come off. We're gonna put this on Snoop. It says it reduces anxiety. That dog's got a lot of anxiety, so let's figure that out. Also, it says it can replace medical cones, cover hot spots, help with skin conditions, alleviate allergies, and contain pet hair. So. It it's multi-purpose, really. So we're gonna, just gonna see if it helps with the shedding. I've never put some clothes on Snoop before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Came in a little pouch. Ooh, this looks so cozy. I'm gonna take off your collar for a second. Kid, so naked. Ooh. Oh, you look so handsome. Look at this. Okay, we have a little wetsuit dog. Where's the zipper? There it is. I'm really scared of catching the penis. Penis 
is up here, right? Okay, we're past the penis. Okay, my only thing is, what if he needs to pee or poop? There we go. <gasps> we did it! Hi, little poopy! I am dead. This is so cute. Do you want some treats? Oh, good boy! Look at how good he looks! I can cuddle you! Oh, it's just cuddles! I don't have- Well, this- There is hair on my shirt, but that's from like cuddling him earlier. Do you feel good about yourself? Yeah, you got a little tail wag going. Yeah, go give kisses. Oh, what a good boy. Do you love this? Now, as amazing as it was that he let me put this on him, you know, there's hair on the outside from me petting his head and then petting the rest of his body. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will say, you're not getting fur anywhere, except from your head. Okay, he's walking in it. Come on. Oh, don't quite know how to walk, do you? God, you look so cute. Let's walk. Come here, come here. Take your down. Good boy. Blaze is like, what is happening? Bubby, you look so good. Come here. Oh yeah, look at these cuddles. Look at these shed free cuddles. You look so good. Like, do you hate me? You shouldn't, because you got multiple treats for this. Are you getting cuddles and kisses? Is it reducing anxiety? I need your full review, Snoop. Is your anxiety down? It should be. Your confidence should be through the roof. Okay, I'm gonna just plop you here for a <laughs> You're a good looking dog, just like on the reg. On the reg, you're adorable. Cutest little face, puppy dog eyes, kisses that could make the heart swoon. But right now, how you feeling? I love this so much. Definitely reduces shedding. I will say having your dog wear this on a daily basis for around your house, I think a little extreme. One, they cannot pee or poop in it, but I could see you needing, like if you need to throw your dog in a car or on an airplane and you don't want to get fur everywhere, that would make sense. A lot of dogs do respond well to tight clothes to reduce anxiety. And I could see if he had a wound or a scrape or something on his upper legs or his back or stomach, he's trying to shake it off. That this would be used to prevent him from licking or biting at that. So I'm gonna say this is a good product. He doesn't seem to be super comfortable, but he's not uncomfortable. Don't hate me, dude. Are you happy you're not wearing it? Yeah, you got to play with the hose for this video. You have to wear this. So I'm gonna say this is a good product. It's not practical for every single day around your house. Again, they can't pee or poop in it. I mean, he'd get used to it, but also they might overheat. Maybe in the winter it'd be great. It is a thin, sheer, like, workout material. So that's nice. I'm gonna say it's a good product. I might use it for the car. Yeah. Because when he goes into the car, it looks like he vanished and all his fur was left behind. So I think it's cute. Now, in case Snoop doesn't want to wear that, during the day. Maybe your dog's like, I don't like that. It's hot. And you want to cuddle your dog. And you're like, I need to cuddle my dog, but I also don't want to get covered in hair. But let's just get covered in hair and take it off with this removes fur while washing and drying. Oh, well, that was the opposite of what I was thinking. <laughs> Forgot what this was before I intro it. Okay, so in case you do cuddle your dogs a lot and you have fur all over you, you can wash your clothes with this and it grabs all of the fur? Well, that's cool if it works. Man, wait, I feel like this is gonna make a lot of noise in the washer and dryer. Like it's heavy. It's gonna be like dun, 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 for 45 minutes in each machine. It doesn't stick to clothes, only fur and hair. And it becomes even stickier in the dryer and it pulls additional fur into the lint trap. So I'm a little hesitant about this. I don't wanna break my washing machine, but you know what? We're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna do a lot of clothes tonight. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're sticky. Oh, they're sticky and wobbly. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna put these in the washer and dryer. Sometimes I'll do a load and then I take it out and there's fur all over the washer. <laughs> so, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're doing this tonight. Fantastic. Let's go to that shot. So it's the end of the night, I washed the clothes. I put in dog towels and we're gonna see how much lint and fur it caught. It had some on it when it came out of the washer. I put it in the dryer, let's see. Oh. There's none. What in the world? There's no fur on this. And honey, there was fur in that load because I put the dog blankets in there. Oh my God, this is just depressing. It's hot, it's barely sticky, it's got lint on it, but there's no dog fur. Man, I wanted this to work. Dang it, it did have stuff out of the washer, but it wasn't like full, it was like 10 pieces. There's like two pieces of fur on this. All right, well, this is a bust. Bomp. All right, two more products. This one, which I'm excited to try, but I don't know. Mm, 
plays it, let me do it. Eh, well, he's gotta think about his paws. So this is a soft, gentle silicone bristle brush thing. So when your dog, like, like it's winter time, they go run in the mud or something and their feet get dirty. Well, instead of having, cause I, in the winter, I literally stick him in my bathtub shower and just spray down his paws multiple times a week cause they get so gross and he runs around my house. But with this, you just fill this with water, stick your dog's paw in and do this and bloop. And apparently it cleans the whole paw off and you just pour this out and that gets rid of all the mud. So you don't have to worry about giving them a bath or a foot bath every night. You can just do it in this. Blaze, you ready to go play in the hose, get muddy and try this? Always. Are you pooped? I gave him a carrot and a puzzle ball and now he's just wiped out. Let's do that. Okay, we're just gonna play the hose game, get him real muddy, then we'll clean his paws. Come on, let mommy get in the shade. Very hot. Get some. Get some. Get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's muddy, and now so am I. Okay, so fill this with water. Then you force dog to put, oh, oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> to put their paw in water. Come here, give me a paw. No, don't drink it. Come here. Ah, like, you're good. Here we go. Push your paw. <laughs> he does not like this. Come here. Blaze, now everything's all muddy, and your paw is not clean. Come here. You just shook his whole body no at me. Come here. Paw. Good boy, you did it! He did not do it at all. Good boy! Okay, so this only works if you have a dog that will just let you do whatever in the world you want. He's always had a thing with his paws. He will not let me put booties on him. He doesn't like it, so this is a fail unless you have an extremely cooperative dog. Don't lick my armpit, bro. You're happy because you got to play in the hose, so whatever. This fail. Okay, last product. Now, this I got because of Snoop. Listen, Blaze is a very low maintenance cleaning wise dog, except in the winter when he runs in mud. That is his flaw. It's Snoop. Snoop is a dirt fur mess. And they both do great in baths. They'll both let me give them baths. But Blaze dries in about five minutes flat. We take a bath, take a walk, he's dry. Snoop, on the other hand, takes five hours to dry. So I'm hoping this will help. It is a doggy place clean dog chamois. Okay, so this is to dry your dog with after they take a shower, which I'm very excited about this. Snoop, I, I feel bad in the winter when he has to get a bath and then it's cold and he's wet and he's cold and he's wet. So this I'm hoping dries him off because normal towels, we use cheap towels or beach towels for the dogs, but and I feel like they don't absorb as much. So I'm excited to try this one out. Oh, can I give him a bath? Let's go give him a bath. Oh. you off. It is clearly covered in his hair. <laughs> Do you need something? It's wet, but like, I feel like there's dog hair in my mouth. I'm gonna need to clean my bathroom now because of you, sir. Oh, I'm a dog. How does he feel? I mean, he's still wet, but he's not dripping. Okay, from all of my, oh, I'm not in the frame. From all of my dog experiences, there's so much hair in my mouth, bro. I have bathed many a dog. And after one towel, once the towel is completely soaking wet, my dog is still usually dripping. You really like that? Does that feel good? Yeah, I could do that all day, bro. He's obviously still very wet, but he's not dripping, and like that's the goal. And now I can go take him on a walk to dry off. No water's coming off of him right now. So don't, you're gonna get fur in your mouth now too. Don't look up there, but it's not a place to look. So if you think your dog's gonna be completely dry after this, you're wrong. It just makes them not drip, and it does absorb more than a normal towel, and it's not dripping, which is, where do you think you're going? Do you need to go run around the backyard? All right, so I'm gonna say this towel does what it says. I'm gonna say it's good. I'm gonna say it's good. Now let's go let him get the zoomies in the backyard. Ready, go. Just undo everything I just did. That's nice, thank you. Make sure to create the biggest dust ball. Yeah. 
happy dog. Happy dog. Yeah. All right. You want to go on a walk? Okay. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got pets that are a mess, or maybe you've got a kid that's really messy, I hope these products help you. I'm not going to give any of those away, but maybe I can. Where did it go? Where's my glasses? Where'd I put it? Blaze. Oh, here it is. Literally right here. I'm going to give this away. It's a painting I did. I did these two paintings in my last video. You can check them out. The link will be at the end of the video, but I did acrylic pouring and I don't have a place really for this one. I didn't like it at first and now it's kind of grown on me. So maybe you like it too, but I'm going to give this away. You have to tweet or Instagram or Facebook or social media, of some sort, your favorite clip from this video, not a screenshot, a clip. So this one, you have to be a little more savvy. You have to screen record. You got to do something, film your desktop. I don't know how you do it, but I want you to post a clip of your favorite part of this video. Be subscribed and tag me in your post and you're in a running to win this beautiful acrylic pour painting that I failed at, but ended up kind of liking it. And I'll sign the back for you. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're checking out my podcast, All Things Internet. Make sure you're following me on Twitch, Miss R Baller, and my vlog channel, Miss R Baller, and on Twitter, Miss R Baller, and on Instagram, Miss R Baller. I kind of make it easy for you guys, okay? I love you so much, though. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.